Hey guys, it's Safia with the Talkai. Okay guys, let's not beat around the bush here. Kylie is pregnant. You know it, I know it, but Kylie refuses to confirm the news. Instead, she's left us a trail of clues without having to give us an actual answer. Yeah, they may be subtle, but we've gathered them all into one place so you can see all of the pieces of the puzzle coming together. Now, for those of you living under a rock for the past few months, before we get into the juicy details, here's a quick rundown of what we know. Multiple sources have come forward letting the world know Kylie's juicy secret. They have let us in on when the baby's due. February, the sex, female, and the daddy, Travis Scott. Now, she only broke up with on-again, off-again boyfriend, Tiger, back in April. So let's hope Travis Scott wasn't just a rebound. Now, who would you like to see Kylie with, Travis or Tiger? Let us know in the comment section. Okay, guys, now here are the hints we've been given so far. Hiding from the spotlight. Let's face it, Kylie loves being in the spotlight. Pretty much since she rose to fame, she has shared every aspect of her life with us on social media. Well, recently, Kylie has been hiding from the spotlight, and it's pretty obvious why. If we see her baby bump now, it will give away the big reveal before she's ready to share the news. The thing is, we've already seen her looking pregnant. Yep, in photos revealed online, her baby bump was out in full force. But Kylie was clearly not ready for the world to know yet. Yep, she claims that the photos were photoshopped. Well, the source of those photos responded to those accusations and they were absolutely adamant they were not photoshopped. Let's face it, this is gonna make one good episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Maybe that's what she's waiting for. Kylie's pajama party. Okay, so Kylie held a pajama party, which everyone knows was actually a baby shower. We already know from sources that it's a girl, but this party left us with no doubt whatsoever. In the photos we've seen, there is absolutely no shortage of pink. Pink pajamas, pink flowers, pink cushions, pink gazebo, pink decorations. What's even more suspicious is that only photo shared of this was from a naughty pack. Something this extravagant would normally be shared all over social media, but clearly it would have given far too much away. The pink hint. Now, while Kylie's baby shower was for friends and family only, she's actually been hinting to us all on social media. Take a look through her Instagram and notice just how many pink posts she's shared recently. Yep, a lot. So perhaps Kylie actually wants to tell us the news, but as many suspect, she has a huge deal in the works for the big reveal. Pregnancy cravings. It's a well-known fact that pregnant women crave certain foods. Well, Kylie has been craving a lot. A while back, we saw a huge junk food splurge she had. Well, this time around, it's Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, so one or two donuts we can understand, but Kylie had a whole box of them. She even wrote a note on them to make sure everyone knows not to touch them because they are all hers. Kim let slip. Kim got invited to the Ellen DeGeneres show and obviously she was going to get asked about Kylie's pregnancy. Now what Kim said in the interview was incredibly interesting. She explained, All right, I'm going to break it down. This is how we work in the family. When there's a lot of rumours, we have this family group chat and we threaten each other's lives if we speak for the other one. We just decided there's so much that goes on that we respect each other's right to speak for themselves. So I will speak about myself. Hopefully they can come on and address whatever rumours we might have. Okay, so if Kylie wasn't pregnant, then why would it be discussed on their family chat? And also, why would their lives be threatened if anyone spoke out? Secondly, if Kylie wasn't pregnant, then wouldn't a simple no be acceptable? Yeah, you'd think so, but who knows with this crazy lot. Well, what are your thoughts? We'd love to hear them in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.